Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add styles to Stable Diffusion. So the first thing that you need to do guys is go to your search bar and search for Stable Diffusion. Once you search for Stable Diffusion, you're going to find a lot of results. Make sure you click on this link, stablediffusionweb.com. So once you are here, this is how the interface looks like. So as you can see guys from here, you can get started for free. And from here, you can see the prompt database. So if you click here, you can come here and search for any prompt that you want. So back here guys. So in order to use this website, just scroll down until you find stable diffusion playground. So basically guys, from here, you can enter your prompt and click the generate button, and then you can generate simply your image. So as you can see guys, from here, you can enter your prompt, and also from here, you can enter a negative prompt. From here, as you can see guys, there is advanced settings. If you click on this little arrow, you can adjust from here the guidance scale of the image that you generated. So for example, I'm going to enter a prompt to generate an image. For example, I'm going to type car and then click on generate image. So as you can see, guys, the image is processing. All you need to do, guys, right now is wait until the image is generated. So as you can see, guys, right now, the images are generated. So those are the images generated to the little prompt that I typed, which is car. Basically, guys, you can do any prompt that you want. It can be longer with much details. You can add any detail that you want to the prompt, and then the image will be generated with no problems. So this is it, guys, for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.